Good afternoon. You are in the science department. Um, so uh, welcome parents, welcome students. We will do a short presentation for you so that you know a little bit more uh, what the science department is doing. So I'll start sharing the presentation with you. I just would like to understand, can everyone understand English? We will try to talk uh, slowly and is that okay? Yes, okay. Can everyone see the presentation that I'm sharing? Yes? Can you give me a signal that you see it? Okay, I can see it. It's, it's on. Gone. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yes. So, um, this is uh, the science department at uh, Bishop Conaty. Uh, right now, uh, we are three teachers with you and uh, some students. Maybe the students can uh, introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Brianna Bordado. I am currently a senior and I'm currently taking the anatomy and physiology class. And the classes that I have taken, um, I have taken biology honors, chemistry honors, and um, anatomy and physiology. Hello, my name is Sarina Martinez, and I'm currently a junior, and I am taking anatomy and physiology. For my freshman year, I took bio, and for my sophomore year, I took chemistry honors. Hello, my name is Maria Alejandra Reyes. I am currently a junior. Um, freshman year, I took biology honors. Sophomore year, I took chemistry honors. And this year, I'm taking anatomy and physiology. So um, this presentation will be posted also in our school website. So I just summarize what is written here. This is our mission in our department. That is to help students uh, be prepared um, a little bit um, in, to live in our complex and dynamic world. Us. And um, these are the courses that we offer in the department. So I will just mention grade nine. Uh, there are uh, three tracks. Track one is integrated science and then biology regular for track two. And if you're um, also, it depends on your math uh, qualification, you take biology honors. And so then uh, you will move on to be taking chemistry or chemistry honors, physics, AP physics, anatomy and physiology, AP environmental science, and AP biology. So the teachers will be introducing themselves now. I'm Mr. Lindsay. Um, I'm, I teach chemistry and physics here at Bishop Condé Arle of Loretto. I've been here since 1999. And uh, what I teach here, I teach uh, chemistry at the regular and honors level. I teach physics also at the regular and honors level. And I also teach AP Physics One, which is the algebra uh, trigonometry based course that prepares students for the um, uh, for the AP Physics 1 exam that takes place at the uh, end of the year. And that's what I teach. Hi, everyone. I'm Mr. Rodriguez. I'm the biology and integrated science teacher. I've been teaching for 18 years, and I'm excited if your daughter joins us. Um, again, I teach biology and integrated science as well. Um, as far as Mr. Rodriguez's biology and integrated science classes, um, one of the things that we like to do at Bishop Comedy, especially as we're getting into um, high school science, is that we like to do a lot of uh, inquiry labs and, of course, uh, group <coughs> collaborative uh, group projects. Uh, the examples that you see in front are uh, at-home projects that the students have been able to do. Uh, and of course, as everything is uh, being slid down, uh, again, those are types of examples and experiments and projects that uh, my students have done either this uh, fall semester or, of course, this past spring semester as well. 
So hello, parents and students. I'm Ms. Dima Tulak. I'm the science department chair, and I'm teaching biology honors, anatomy, and physiology classes, AP environmental science, and AP biology. Hello, I will be explaining um, anatomy and physiology to you. Um, anatomy and physiology provides basic knowledge about the human body. Um, it helps clearing the fundamental concepts as to how our body functions. Um, this subject will give you an insight into the complex nature of the human body and the different systems that may, make it up. Um, we will be showing some examples on Padlet um, of the experiments and the, the material that we have focused on. Um, as you can see, we have done the dissection of the eye. We have also worked on fetal pig dissection. And these are images of girls working on the projects. During the pandemic, students are able to creatively and interactively teach one another. Um, we do more hands-on projects of the, um, of, on the subject. And this is a presentation on what um, anatomy and physiology is all about. For anatomy and physiology, we do have Zoom links. Here the, the girls, or we, we as the girls, go on to the Zoom link and we have five to 10 minutes um, before the designated time and cameras are required or recommended as well. In this class, we are breaking the virtual uh, class boundaries. So the students can see all the assignments and class updates on Google Classroom. Um, the teacher posts the assignments on that platform. We use virtual platforms to assign assessments. Uh, goal formative is for the test and quizzes is for the quiz. Um, all our homework and classworks are on, either on Edpuzzle, Google Classroom, or CK12. Here, uh, here we are able to further our understanding into the subject uh, or into the concept. Um, as mentioned before, the Banana Lab projects and here, this is how we learned um, the different types of cutting into um, the human body, the mid-sagittal, the parasagittal, the cross or transverse, and the frontal um, coronal section. The students here, also, we as uh, students had um, to create an organ model project. Uh, one of the students created a model of heart and another one created a model of an eye and another student created the human brain. And we focused on the mid-sagittal or the frontal sections of the um, we also learned about different human diseases and the integumentary system. Uh, one of the students decided to choose the topic of chickenpox. Um, she described what is a chickenpox. She also described what the symptoms are and how to prevent it. And we also, as noticed, we learned about the integumentary system. There are tutoring sessions available Monday and Tuesday after school from 2 to 3 by appointment with Ms. Dimitula. I will now be explaining biology and biology honors. Biology is the study of living organisms. Students learn about the nature of life science, cell structures, the function and division, molecular biology, and so on. Throughout the year, students work on different fun and creative projects and labs that allow them to apply and demonstrate what they've learned. Biotechnology is one of the subjects that bio honors students learn, and it allows them to fully experience what scientists do. Here you can see pictures of biology students working on labs as I had when I was a freshman. We, we learned here extracting DNA and other experiments using the microscopes. I will now be explaining the Amgen biotechnology experience. It was pretty fun and cool. We were giving lab manuals, which helped us have a basic understanding of what we'll be doing in each lab. We also got to experiment with different tools that scientists use to perform different experiments. As you can see from the pictures, those are the students performing different labs and experiments. And in the middle, you can see Dr. Morris, who was a huge help in our engine experience. Here um, are, this is our open house from last year. And at the bottom, there's a link with more pictures. As you can see from the pictures, those are our students with students from other schools and their families going around, seeing the different experiments that your child can experience 
um, within biology or any of the sciences that we offer here. We miss you parents uh, here, but uh, in the meantime, we do our best, notwithstanding the limitations that we have uh, with the pandemic. Here are more pictures of our experience with Amgen. As you can see, the students are using different tools for different experiments and labs. Thank you for visiting. We end our presentation here.